So I was reading an article from the dissenter.com this morning and the article that I read kind of shocked me because for the longest time, and I'm sure a lot of you have thought this as well, I honestly believe that Joe Osteen was the richest false teacher in the world. Now in my mind, it was always either Joe Osteen or Creflo Dollar as to who was the richest heretic in the world. But what I found out this morning was that that's not true. There's actually a false teacher from Nigeria that makes Joe Osteen and Creflo Dollar's combined income look like child's play. His name is David Oyodepo and he is the richest word of faith false teacher in the world. Now you might be asking, Keith, why do we care about this? Of course this man is rich. He's a prosperity pastor. Who cares? The reason I made this video wasn't to highlight how rich this false teacher is. It was to point out how desperate sinners are to amass wealth in the name of these false teachers, not Jesus. If a false teacher can amass that type of fortune in a country where the poverty rate is 92%, it was at 92% as of last year. Listen, that's absolutely insane. I mean, these people are literally giving these false teachers everything that they have from a financial standpoint. But here's the difference in these people who follow these false teachers and the poor widow and her two mites in Luke 21. The difference is this. The Nigerians are giving all that they have in the name of who? Not Jesus. It's in the name of these false teachers. And why is that? Because they secretly desire everything the false teachers have, primarily the money. And then you have the poor widow who walked up in the sight of the Lord, if you remember in Mark 12. The Lord is sitting there along with his disciples right next to him and they are sitting next to the temple money box and this poor widow walks up and placed everything she had with her eyes set on Jesus okay totally different sacrifice it's one thing to give all that you have for eternity's sake it's a whole other thing to give all you have remain poor and then end up in the pit with the false teacher that you worshiped now imagine that it's a totally different sacrifice. Now, what are these doctrines of demons? Oh, these and Verse three. Men who forbid marriage and advocate abstaining from foods which God has created to be gratefully shared in by those who believe and know the truth. They forbid you say, well, Brother Paul, I don't know anybody teaching these things. Even the people that I know are false teachers. They don't forbid marriage. They don't tell people to abstain from food. As a matter of fact, they eat food all the time. <laughs> so how does this apply? You've got to look at the bigger picture. These men were teaching. They were teaching things that took people's attention off of Christ. And put their attention on other things. Paul the Apostle said, you need Christ. I don't want to know anything about you except Christ crucified. And these teachers said, Well, you need to eat the right foods. And you need to be circumcised. And you shouldn't get married. And you need to go back to the law. And you need to follow me. And you need to be in my group. And then let's add some other things. You must speak in tongues. You must be able to do this. Have you had visions? And they talk about all these types of things. But for them, Christ is just a little teaching. For infants. They're on to greater things. If Christ is not the greatest thing to you. If the gospel is not the greatest truth. You are a heretic. The gospel is the mystery of God that produces true godliness in our lives. Just think of most of the many of the preachers that you probably have heard. I can name countless preachers. That are very famous. 
You could listen to them preach for many days. You could listen to them preach for many days. And they would, and they would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. They would never truly preach or explain the gospel. A true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know, I know you are a true teacher. You know